Well, you need to remember about Daryl Anker, who channels, or claims to channel, the being Bashar, is that he is in fact a person who worked in Hollywood. He has a background around actors and film production, including science fiction. Daryl began his career in Hollywood as a special effects designer and worked on various films including Star Trek The Motion Picture, Die Hard, but he's even worked on more modern productions such as Pirates of the Caribbean, I, Robot, and Iron Man. And when you look into his career, he has a long history of working with a variety of films in various roles, sometimes as himself, as a writer, as a producer, as a director. He's better known on the internet for being Bashar, this interdimensional being from elsewhere, from 500 light years away, who comes through with enlightened wisdom and predictions that are so general they'll probably come true, and could be made by a person with no powers whatsoever. His character Bashar allows him to make a greater living than he would otherwise. Despite being a talented man, he has his limitations, and he doesn't get work all the time. But having the character Bashar ensures that he has a continuous income, and quite a sizable income. The philosophy of Bashar, according to the official website, is one of self-empowerment, of basically being more yourself, your true self, and being aware of who you truly are, is the key to self-empowerment. And it also states on the website that Bashar also provides cutting-edge information on a wide range of subjects, personal transformation, history of the universe, extraterrestrials and UFOs, parallel realities, prop circles, psychic phenomena, spiritual ascension, earth changes, healing methods, life after death, future technology, and sacred geometry. The problem with these concepts is that they don't really work. The reason that you are where you are is because you chose to be where you are in order to act as a conduit to bring that energy to earth and manifest it in whatever way is relevant to the Earth experience, to allow the Earth to transform. His idea of the history of the universe is largely science fiction. After all, he is a writer and he has a creative element. The talk of extraterrestrials and UFOs is once again common ideas within New Age, very similar with the idea of parallel realities, the beliefs to do with crop circles, Mainstream New Age, Psychic Phenomena, Mainstream New Age, Spiritual Ascension, Mainstream New Age, Earth Changes, Healing Methods, Life After Death, Future Technology, Sacred Geometry. It's all very mainstream New Age, simply with Daryl Anker, with his eyes closed, talking in a slightly peculiar voice, claiming to be Bashar. But even though you may avail yourself of what may be in your terms a mundane belief system, a mundane cure in that way, it is you that have still, in a sense, cured yourself by simply extending a belief into a particular type of method that you think will work. As you might imagine, he has a shop, and he sells a variety of things, including lectures you can buy on DVD or download on MP4. You can pay to go to workshops. You can also buy various pendants and crystals t-shirts, clocks, and a variety of other merchandise. And if you should wish to communicate with Bashar, you can do so. You can have a private session, and you can fool yourself that you're dealing with all your problems for the cost of $300. Plus, of course, a $100 booking fee. Some of the feedback that people have given includes enhanced creativity and abundance, mental and emotional clarity, improved health, enhanced loving relationships, expanded psychic ability, increased self-love and self-acceptance, and greater self-empowerment. So this business sustains him. So when he can't actually get work producing documentaries, he pretends that he channels a wise being from 500 light years away. 